the car. Not the most glamorous start to a video, I'm sure. However, we are in the car because we're going to Ireland. We're gonna do three vlogs for you. This vlog here, one on a city guide to Kerry and Cork, and also the Ring of Kerry for all you road trippers out there. Now to get to Ireland, you can go on the plane um, or you can get the ferry. We're getting the ferry this time because it's actually really expensive to get flights at the moment, plus having to get parking, plus having to get a hire car, which is really expensive at the moment too. So we're actually on our way to Wales, which actually we're about to cross the bridge if you spin it round. So this is the Severn Bridge, which takes us across from England to Wales. We're on it right now. Um, yes, yeah, so we're off to Wales to get the ferry. We're going with Irish ferries today, and we're going to Pembroke, um, which is on the southwest of uh, Wales, and it gets into County Wexford in Ireland after a four-hour trip. Now, the great thing about getting the ferry as well is the fact that you can pack your car with as many things as you need. And in Ireland, you need lots of different things, lots of different weather gear. We've got, oh, and we're going to a wedding as well. So I need shoes for a wedding, shoes to wear normally, and some walking boots ideally as well. Times that by five, and we've got a whole bucket of boots. <laughs> like in the 25 bag. pairs of shoes. <laughs> we've got everything. And the cool thing is, we wouldn't ever be able to take any, half of this stuff on a plane as well. So we are ready for the weather in Ireland, and we're ready to have a good time. We were the guests of Irish Ferries on this trip, so thank you to them. They have two routes to Ireland, Hollyhead to Dublin and Pembroke to Rosslare, which we're doing. They have up to 16 sailings per day across the Irish Sea. Now, when you're on the way to the ferry, you need to plan your route really carefully. So it takes about four hours for us to get there and it might even take you longer or shorter depending on where you live or if you're coming from London. So work your way back from the port and make sure you've got stops, make sure you've got places to eat and everything else like that. For us, we found a nice little stop that we wouldn't have ever driven all this way for just because we could. And I think you American fans might recognize it. <laughs> so we're off there right now and actually we're literally on the Severn Bridge. If you tilt it upwards. There we go. We are on our way. We're going there. Pancakes tall as Jude. <laughs> Whoa. This is the only Denny's in the UK. It opened in 2017 and they were meant to be expanding to 200 locations over the decade. But in 2022, this is still the only one. America in a bite. <laughs> we're not huge Denny's fans when we're in the States as there are always so many cool independent places to try instead. But it was great to get an authentic taste of America in the UK. I don't know how they can make a, a breakfast sandwich taste American, but it really does. It's just eggs and bacon and sausage and cheese on bread. But it, it does taste like very authentic. I don't, I don't know how, but it is. We couldn't stay for long though, as we had to be on the road by midday to have any chance of making it to the port on time. The kids were in road trip mode. Sammy takeover tip, always bring a day bag for the car. Unlike my brothers, they didn't and now they're cool. Anyway, what I packed is snack, tablet and book. Um, and yeah, and then you're not bored. Okay, now, hey Dale, you bored? You wanna watch some Barbies with me? Yeah. We then hit some bad traffic which kept eating into the sat-nav timing. We've got four minutes to spare until the last check-in. I think we're gonna be okay. I hope we're gonna be okay. <laughs> We pulled in with a minute to spare. Last check in, 1.45. 1.45 on the dot. Boat's there, I think we're okay. I hope. Before we knew it, we were on the boat. 
And after a short time, we were moving and leaving Wales behind. The ferry has loads of cabins, a VIP lounge, restaurant, bars and loads of places to chill or play games as you travel. There were also a few other places that a lot of passengers didn't find. Shh, don't tell anyone about this room. We thought Dylan had found the best area, but Sam found an even better one. I found the cinema It meant the kids enjoyed their four hours at sea rather than having cabin fever. Before we knew it, Ireland was in front of us. Welcome to Ireland! Welcome to... Poof Poof Pantsy! Oh, dude. Anyway, we've done four hours in the car to get to the ferry. We did four hours on the ferry. How was the ferry, guys? We were back on the Emerald Island again after a decade away. Castle will be knocked down. Look, this is pretty much, well, it's eight o'clock at night, but at eight o'clock at night in England, on a big road like this, you can see more than one car. Here comes one car. There we go, one car. <laughs> Love it. We got off the ferry at seven, and it's a two and a half hour journey to Cork. And I actually don't know where we're going in Cork because Ali booked it all. So where are we going? Where are we staying? We have a lovely little Airbnb that is a farmhouse that has dogs running around and a games room and lots of big comfy beds and a fireplace. Very traditional Irish farm. But we can't actually see what it looks like tonight because we're probably going to get there in the dark. So we'll show you around tomorrow, hopefully, okay? And, and I am ready for my big country farm because we have had four hours in the car, four hours on the ferry, and another two hours in the car, and I'm ready to be done. <laughs> but it is nice to be back on the homeland. Um, we were just listening to the radio and it's always funny just to flick around and listen to the music. We listen to um, the fit, I think I've heard an accordion, the fiddle, um, the tin whistle, flutes, the tin whistle. Which is a thing. We're loving it, <laughs> we're loving it. So back to the tunes, less of us right now. We need to get off talking from you. One of my favourite Irish things is to just put the Irish radio on and just watch the green Irish countryside. So we're going to do more of that right now. We had a beautiful sunset as we got to Cork and a lovely surprise when we got to where we were staying. Now I know we said we we're gonna not do anything about the Airbnb tonight and show it tomorrow. However, there's something that won't be around tomorrow and Margaret, our host, has made these special cakes. And I'm sorry to say, the count's going on in two minutes time and these won't be here in the morning. But thank you, Margaret, they look great. where we're staying in Cork. It's a farmhouse. Come let me show you my favourite bits. It's the games room where um, people play pool and you can play with everyone. There's toys, there's air hockey, football and pool. And there's also some other toys that you can play with. And this is probably the best bit for me. There's one the house with the front porch and a double floor. Here is the upper floor. On to Airbnb. Be here next time. For our first full day in Cork, we had to go to Blarney Castle. I'm taking him to Dungeons. Where we, of course, kiss the Blarney Stone. Oh my goodness! <laughs> now we're not going to go into detail in this video, as this is the behind the scenes vlog. Check out that video for our proper guide to the area. 
then went to Cork City in the afternoon, which again we'll tell you all about in that next video. It will also show you more of our evening here, which included some traditional music and dancing too. After nursing our hangovers, we headed to Cove the next day. It's an old port town, a place where thousands of Irish people set sail for a new life in the USA. It was even the Titanic's last port of call. Again, we'll give you the lowdown in our city guide. On the way back home, we brought back one of our favourite Irish traditions. One of my favourite things to do in Ireland is say, Stop the car! When you see an amazing view and rush out and just drink it all in. Found one! <laughs> 